Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today we have an unboxing. And this one is from Victoria's Moon. Uh, a lady called Alvina at Victoria's Moon contacted me and asked if she could send me a canvas for free for me to review on my channel to show everybody. And they've also been kind enough to give us a 10% discount off a purchase from their website. So full details and the code are down below in the description for you. So please feel free to use that code. Um, I think it's a great offer for them as I've never used uh, Victoria's Moon before. So we'll have a look together and see what we think to this canvas. Okay, so bear with me while we get into it and we'll see what we think to it. Okay, so we've got a nice generic diamond painting box. Quite pretty, 5D diamond painting, nice diamond shape there. And it's got a little bit battered, um, but uh, it was posted last Sunday and it's arrived with me today, Saturday. So less than a week to arrive. So that's pretty good. So yeah, looks uh, pretty good. Let's see what uh, canvas we've got and see what it's like. Okay, let's just get into here. Without stabbing myself, put my knife out this way. Okay, so, alright, so we're well, double sided tape. Okay, it isn't my favourite, but if you get a good quality canvas, it's not so bad. Now, this is quite a nice, softish canvas. Not the real hard, rough one, but you know, a good uh, coating to it. And let's just unroll it so that we get it relaxed a little bit. Take all the bits out. Okay, just let it relax there while we have a look at the other bits. It's a 30 by 40, so we'll give it a measure in a minute. And that's good. It's all one great big piece of uh, cover paper on it, which is great because sometimes if uh, they put it in different pieces, you can end up with little dirty marks or you can get ridges where it's joined together but this is all one great big piece as far as I can tell. Is there a join there? No. Let's just give this a bit of a flatten. Uh, just see that. Alright so we've got, here? All right, so we've got uh, 26 colours on this one. Looks like it's all letters and numbers and we have got DMC codes so that's good as well. So yeah, what I'll probably do is put this through my little Xyron sticker maker and make myself stickers for my boxes so I can kit up it easily. Um, normally, if a kit comes without one of these, I just photocopy uh, the schematic, the key code from the canvas and put uh, that on my boxes, just uh, say photocopy that. But this one's come with it, so that's uh, a bonus, like that idea. That saves my bit of paper and my printing. Okay. Have a look at the drills. Oh, these have all come. That's a bit early. Let's just pop that out of the way. Oops. These have all come already bagged up. I do like this idea because I do work from my bags. And let's have a look at the drills. This is a round. And that's one of the dark colours. And they're looking pretty good. Let's get a little tray. Okay, so we've got a tray. Let's have a look at these drills and see what we think to them give them a good look okay there's no static on them so that's good see how, oh, they're all lining up nicely as you can see i'm hopeless with drills i tend to spill them but i think you can see there camera focus come on focus yeah you can see that just a second millie what are you doing for some reason, this dog likes to go rummaging in my bin as soon as I sit at my desk to start filming. So if you can hear funny little noises, it's Millie rummaging. Okay, Millie is my little Scotty dog, if you didn't already know. So yeah, they look pretty good and they've all lined up in that tray nicely. So great if you're wanting to do your multi-place in there. Yeah, quite impressed with those. Okay. Obviously, this is just a first impression, um, but we do need to uh, do the actual painting and see what it looks like 
and see how the drills go down. As I say, I'm not a huge fan of double-sided tape, but uh, we'll see how we go with this one. Just pick a couple of those drills up that I've spilt everywhere, pop them into my bag. So, just uh, bear with me while I just double-check my drills. Okay, and I'm back. So, we've got the 26 drills. I've put them all in number order. And what I'll do is put them into a little basket, all in number order. And then I tend to work from the bags. Um, all the bags have got the number on them, which corresponds with the uh, key code on the canvas. We've got 310, which is the uh, DMC number. And then we've got the weight of the bag. So these are all done in weight. Uh, as you can see, we've got some wonderful colours. It is quite an autumnal colour, uh, this one. So probably nice for autumn. I'll do it for autumn. So yeah, nice little drill packs there. Let me just put these into little order there. And then I'll get my little basket out. It's actually got something in it at the moment. Um, I've got some drills to put away from my last canvas. So I want to put those away when I've finished doing this. And then I can put these drills in that little tray and get started out with that. So that's all put to one side. Uh, the little tool kit that we get is uh, better than a basic tool kit. This looks like a nice tool kit. See? It's certainly got the good tweezers in it, so I can see those. So they're your pointy tweezers. Again, please be careful with those. They are very, very sharp and uh, you can stab yourself with them. So always try and keep your cover on them if you can. So that's your tweezers. Looks like we've got a little bit of double-sided tape there. Now, I do think this is possibly... If you've got a bit of uh, non-sticky on your canvas or if you catch the edge of your canvas if you're working on it, you've got a little bit of extra sticky there just in case, which is a brilliant idea. I've never seen that before, but I think that's a really clever idea. A big chunk of pink wax there and then a little white bow, which actually that's quite a deep little white bow. That's pretty good. OK, and we've got uh, a pen with a pin grip on it, a little squishy. It's got a single placer on one end and let me see what that is. Is that a, that's a nine, it may be a 10. That's a 10 placer. So a 10 placer on that end. And it is actually one of the very thin ones as well. So it's the good quality one. So that's nice as well. Yep, yeah, we like that. So a nice little tool kit. Plenty to get you started there. Um, they have been kind enough as well to send me a little free gift just as a thank you for uh, unboxing this canvas and showing it on my channel. And this looks, oh, this looks interesting. Oh, wow. It's a very, very sparkly diamond painting pen. Wow, look at that. It's got all diamonds inside it. Oops, that's just your packaging. But that's a very, very fine tip on that. So I wonder, uh, yeah, I'm wondering whether that'll work with the drills. We'll have to have a play with that and see, but that is very, very good. And I'm presuming that that's like a, a sticky pickup for um, your special diamonds or your uh, Aurora Borealis rubies. Hmm. Oh, we'll have to have a play with that one and see how that goes. But yeah, so thank you very much, uh, Alvina and Victoria's Moon. That's a lovely little gift. I uh, don't think I've seen one of those. I'll have to have a play with that and see how we go. Okay, all in a nice little case as well. Isn't that lovely? Thank you very much. Okay, so let's get back to the best bit, which is looking at the canvas. Now then, this is one that I've chosen. So it's double-sided tape, so just be careful as you're pulling back. That you're not causing any trauma to your canvas or pulling up any of the double-sided tape um, so that you're causing rivers or bubbles. This canvas is looking really good. And let's reveal, look at the little picture. It's a little raccoon. And as I say, it's all autumn colours. He's in like a tree with all his autumn leaves around him. And I just thought it was so cute. And I've not done a raccoon before. And I do like raccoons. 
let's have a look at him very very carefully so our drill field is looking really clear if we can focus in on that you can see the it has got guide circles on it so you have to be careful when you're putting your drills down that uh, you put them dead on but look at that little face that is so clear the canvas is a 30 by 40 so it's a close-up picture i think if you go on smaller paintings then always get say a big center picture in the middle and it's more likely to come out as a good painting but that's super you can see all the leaf definition down here you can see all your tree trunk around the edges and that canvas is crystal clear there is no rivers or bubbles or anything on that it's arrived in really really good condition and I'm looking at it sideways on and I can't see anything that uh, gives me any concerns so that's your little thumbnail there of your little panda He's just a little it's panda. Oh, raccoon. He's just a little sweetie. It's all right. I've heard somebody calling them trash pandas. Um, I believe uh, around the States and possibly Canada, you, they do get quite a bit uh, of them going through the dustbins. They're a bit like foxes, I think, in this country. Um, so, yeah, that's your key code there, your schematic, which gives you all your different symbols and numbers. So that's good. So let me get this cover back on so I don't cause any damages and don't get any fluff on it. Our dog fair, I've got Nilly at my feet at the minute again. Okay, just get that. So what I do now, I have um, an A2 and an A3 folder that I keep my paintings in. So depending on the size of them, depends on which size the folder goes in. Um, the A2 folder is between my mattresses in my bedroom and my A3 folder. Um, tends to stay in here uh, flattened with some books and diamond painting things just have a look at the back of the canvas yeah that's superb there's just nothing no creases no nothing on that and it is a good canvas so yes victoria's moon um even though you double-sided tape um i am quite impressed with this i do like this canvas it's a, a good one it's getting a bit dark now the drills look pretty good it's a nice toolkit that comes with it so i shall leave you with this thank you very much i hope you've enjoyed the unboxing as i say there is a 10 percent discount if you want to use the code that's uh, down below if you've enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll hope to see you all again soon bye for now